Hi there, family. Welcome back to The Lisa Nichols Show, where I share the tools that you need to transform your life, to elevate your life, to take your life to the next best level. I'm super excited. Comments are coming in all over the place. I mean, we're growing so fast, being shared everywhere. So my friend, Channel the Spirit, you wrote, unconditional self-love is the main component for continuous, genuine success. I agree, I agree, I agree. Unconditional self-love. Now let me tell you, there's a, a key word with unconditional. Unconditional means love me when I'm not being lovable. Love me when I'm stuck in my righteousness. Love me when I'm stuck in judgment. See, unconditional doesn't mean love me when things are going well. We throw around the word unconditional love all the time. We all oh, unconditional love. Let me just tell you, unconditional love says, can you love me when I'm in my righteousness? Can you love me? So when you give yourself unconditional self-love, now that's next level. Unconditional self-love says, even when I fail at something, I'm gonna love me 159% the way I was loving me the moment before. Even when a relationship goes bad, I'm not gonna blame myself for it. I'm gonna embrace the fact the relationship existed. I'm gonna love it and release it. Even if my waist has expanded, even if my hips have expanded a bit, I'm going to love myself. Unconditional self-love says, I'm going to love myself when it feels like it's difficult to love me. That's truly unconditional love. And that's what this moment is about. That's what this channel is about. That's what this time is about, is can you radically, unapologetically love you to the next level? You know, so many people come to me and say the statement, Lisa, I can't get my family to support me. I can't get my friends to support me. They don't support my vision. What do I do? And really what I know you're asking me is what words do you have that can help me secretly convert them to believers? Well, newsflash, there are no words. There are no words. Two things, I'm gonna invite you to retire from the converting business because we don't do it well. People are gonna be exactly who they are and your opportunity, really, your true opportunity is can you love them where they are? Can you love them if they don't ever see your vision? Can you be with them? Can you celebrate them? Can you love them from the place that they think, that they believe, that they operate? And if you can't, can you expand to? Because that's the opportunity for growth that's much more realistic and greater than trying to convert them to believe, support, and follow the way you do it. Secondly, and this might hit you a little hard, I, I call it, I'm serving you straight, no chaser. This one might come right between the eyes. And I have to tell you that you may have chimed in just to hear this. Like this is your aha. I know it was mine. If no one in your family gets your vision, if your wife don't get it, if your husband doesn't get it, if your partner doesn't get it, if your children don't get it, your parents or your siblings or your friends, if no one gets your vision, hear me when I say, it's because God didn't give your vision to them. God gave your vision to you. Whatever you call your God, I'm not here to impose my belief system on you. But what I know is that your vision was given to you. And it's your job to birth it. It's your job to be the midwife. It's your job to bring it out. It's your job to nurture it. It's your job to grow it so the rest of the world can enjoy it. And then and only then do they need to see it. And then and only then do they get to choose to support it. So often 
we shut down and choke hold our dream and our vision because we don't have enough cheerleaders for it. We don't have enough people behind it. Well, initially, you are the only energy, you're the only oxygen that your dream needs initially. And then as you birth it, as you manifest it, as you bring it to life, other people will begin to jump on the moving train. You want everyone to help you push the train out the station. And they're waiting for you to move the train and then turn around and yell, all aboard! And then they jump on. And even then sometimes your family may not jump on. Your friends may not jump on. But your job is to be obedient to the calling on your life. I know I used a strong set of words and I don't apologize and I don't take them back. That you have a gift in you. You have a, an experience in you, whether it's the gift of listening only, the gift of sound, the gift of music, the gift of dance, the gift of creativity, the gift of, of, of linear thinking, structure and activities and, and project planning. The, whatever that thing is that the world is supposed to get from you, that's your job to play full out. And if no one else gets your vision, it's because God didn't give your vision to them. Don't wait until you have cheerleaders to run, jump, and dance. Run, jump, and dance. And the cheerleaders will come. I happen to know personally. Hey tribe, hey family. I would love to hear from you. This show, as you know, I'm going to say it every time. It's not just a monologue. I'm not dictating. This is not dictatorship here. This is not one way conversation. This, my friends, my family, this is our safe space. This is a dialogue. This is a healthy, juicy, delicious, overdue conversation. What's one thing that you learned from today's topic? What's one thing that was an aha for you. You know, where's an area in your life that you've been waiting for someone to celebrate you? You've been waiting for someone to, to share with you that they believe in you before you really got running. What's that thing that you know is overdue? I want you to share with me. I want you to comment below. Say, Lisa, I should have been doing this a long time ago. I am late. I remember when I first started speaking and my then employer said, can you wait one more year, Lisa? Can you, we just need you one more year. And I'd already been saving for three and a half years. I said, no, no, I'm late for work. So what's that thing? Tell me, share with me and then share this conversation with others. You know, someone who's brilliant. I mean, they are brilliant. And yet they've been playing it safe, waiting for everyone to agree with them, not wanting to disrupt the norm. Share this with them, please and subscribe. I want to know that you're in the conversation for the long haul. And then look out for more amazing soul stirring content because it's on its way to you. I'm your sister in prosperity and in possibility. And I hope you don't ever get tired of hearing me say, I believe in you and I love you because I do.